Hey guys, it's James here from Transitions Chiropractic. Now, we've got four options for you today when it all comes to sitting and working at your workstation. Trying to make it as comfortable as possible, but trying to give you a bit of an idea of what may work for you, what you might not have tried as yet. So those four options are a hardcore gaming chair, standard office chair, BOSU ball, and then of course, standing. Now, this is not a hardcore gaming chair. Let's be right on, honest right out the back. This is just a pretty standard office chair. But what I know with hardcore gaming chairs, and you'll notice some of our pictures that we're attaching to this video, hardcore gaming chairs come with a truckload of support. You can adjust your lumbar support, you can adjust your neck support, arm height, everything. These things are completely adjustable. We know that sitting is a new smoking, but how do we make it as nicotine free and as friendly as possible? I think this is going to be a good way to start actually getting you still sitting, but sitting in a better position. So gaming chairs, there's one out there like the Thunder X3, I think it's called. Um, I've seen that and had a couple of clients talk about that. That's supposed to be very effective. They're actually saying their muscles are sore from using it, which means they're at least still active. Now, the problem with prolonged sitting in any chair is the fact that we're prolonged sitting. As soon as you miss movement, you're missing one of the biggest benefits that we have. Movement equals blood flow and blood flow equals life. So the more we can keep mobile, guys, the better. So even if you are sitting in the world's best chair, try to get up and out of it as much as possible. More of that standard office chair again, very, very simple design. You're not going to have much support in this. It's okay. But again, for those longer time durations, you're going to find yourself putting a lot of your body weight back through the chair. And this is when your own protective muscles really start to switch off. So this brings us to our second option, something I'm a bit more happier with. The old BOSU ball. Now, these big exercise balls are really good. Now, me at 186 centimetres, this is a size 65 centimetre ball. It's one size too small for me to use if I was to be here for a long time at the desk. Now, I'll show you why. As soon as I go to sit at that desk, I'm too low. My hands are now coming up to get to the height of the desk. So I need that extra five to 10 centimeters in the ball, and that would then also help me keep my knees lower than my hips. That's a super important consideration when it comes to sitting, guys. Knees lower than the hips, because that allows your pelvis and hips to rock forward, and really opens that lower part of your spine. So keep that in mind when it comes to sitting for a long time. Are your knees lower than your hips? It's a great place to start. But again, the BOSU ball, we've just talked about how in a standard chair there's not a whole lot of movement. These can provide a lot more movement and a lot more play. So it's keeping your lower back active, so it's a good little option. Can you cheat on a BOSU ball? Absolutely you can, and I'm really good at it. I can lean forward in my hands, and put all my weight in my arms, or I can lean to the side of the desk and literally have my legs resting against the side of the desk for support. If you get to sit on one of these guys, the idea is to stay active and the idea is to use your muscles. So I would suggest get a ball that's one size bigger than you might use at the gym and start there. So we've got two more options for you for when it comes to a workstation outside of the conventional chair. The first one is a standing desk. Now we've had this one custom built for us. It's fantastic, but the one elephant in the room says it's not adjustable, so it's not going to be perfect for everything. This is perfect for Marissa, not so much for me. But again, you'll see at the standing desk, you've got the option of standing. Now, if you are going to be standing for a long period of time, I'd suggest invest in a little footstool, because as you pop your leg up at that, it's much easier to keep your hips stable than it is if you just keep your hips flat on the ground all day. Prolonged standing in any position, it's still very easy to slump, slouch, lean to one side, take all that weight over. So just because you're standing doesn't mean you're necessarily standing well. So have a look at number one, getting a small little stool or a footrest just so you can kick one of your feet up at a time to take the pressure off of your hips. It works really, really well. Number two, look for a desk that is ideally adjustable because if I was here, I'm going to be leaning forward way too much throughout the day. So I'm going to have to slay my feet to actually work it there correctly. Okay? So an adjustable desk is going to give you a much better option between a full height standing desk and then a sitting option too. Okay? One thing you can also do is combine this with sitting on what we have here is a stool. Now, is a stool a legitimate work option? 
Absolutely. It's a great study option too because the benefit of the stool is I'm now sitting, my station is set up to me at a much better height, but the moment I slouch, I'm going to feel it, so I'm going to have to actively engage my muscles again and get that proper movement back through my lower back. What we're trying to aim for here when it comes to sitting for a long period of time is as much movement as possible. Movement is blood flow, blood flow is life, blood flow is sparking the nervous system, it's keeping all your joints firing, all those important receptors going up to your brain is coming from movement. So try to keep that spine as mobile as possible and a stool is a great way to do it. You might find it's easy to swap between tasks, i.e. emails, I'm going to do standing up, reading, I might do standing up, really hardcore data entry stuff or some tough calculations you might want to do back in that seated position. But there is absolutely options there. Big fan of the standing type setup. Um, the guys at Experienced Office Work, Office Furniture have some great options out there for you. If you have any questions, please give us a shout. Um, yeah, we're always here to help you. Thank you.